We'd like to welcome y'all all to another segment of the So Unprofessional Show. This is your host, Mr. Barksdale. And I'm Gus. So today, man, we got a special guest. And uh, we got some hot topics to talk about fresh off the press, man. And uh, glad y'all tuned in for the next episode. You know what I mean? I know, man. We've been, we been keeping it raw, huh? Yeah, I'm just glad you got that dumbass dashiki off. Yeah, that was like two weeks ago. Well, I, I'm glad it's gone. I'm gonna bring it back. Just don't bring it back. Don't bring back no motherfucking kimonos or no motherfucking, uh, what's the mother shit called? I'm gonna come with like a headdress. I'm gonna come with like a geisha. Geisha's a woman, right? Well, yeah. I said a headpiece. What's not the headpiece? You said if the shoe fits, it would be if the headpiece fits. Well, you gotta wear the shoes too. It's the whole case you get up. That's what I'm saying, Gus. Every week we come in here and you just be on some stupid shit. And know? nobody hit us about the damn snow trees either. Because snow trees exist. There's no such thing. Up. There's no such thing as a snow if tree. If you in Alaska and the fucking tree has grows snow, in the snow, <laughs> it has snow, it's a snow tree. <laughs> hey, Gus, before we even get started on the next um, segment, though, you wanna know what's the funniest shit I saw? What's that? So, Mr. Barstow had me watching. Uh, Cops in Alaska. And the motherfucking Eskimo. <laughs> That's a funny word. Beat the shit out of his sister. Because they was drunk off boot liquor. And the reason why they boot their liquor from the liquor store is because 10 miles away on block of ice. So the police had to like fly a plane to the crib and seize his snowmobile so he can't go get more. I was like, oh shit, like this is really like a crazy paradox. Like what the fuck is going on in Alaska? And why the fuck are you beating this shit out your sister with bootleg liquor? It was quite that's complicated. What happens, that's what happens when you drink bootleg liquor. I would never beat my sister up over bootleg liquor. Have you ever drank bootleg liquor? Alright, so we got a special guest this week. Yeah, real special. We got world renowned actor. Yeah. Mr. Charles Harris. Let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up with it, man? Chill, man. Good to see you, man. It's been a Likewise. long time, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate you know y'all having me. It was like 15 minutes ago. Ah. Yo, you just be dicky. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's like, why I'm, literally, it was 15 minutes but ago. But this is what I'm saying, though. But even 15 minutes ago, it had been a long time prior to the 15 minutes. Facts. And no one saw us talking on camera. And this is what I'm saying. This is why I gave the PSA <laughs> three weeks ago. The world be a better place if you just stop dicking <laughs> and my co-host is a victim of the world's play. No, I just gotta take my shots where I can. Man. It's all good. Oh, man. Sorry. Just, I apologize. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> so, Mr. Charles Harris. Yes, sir. What's going on in your life right now as far as acting? Yeah, man. Uh, a couple little films, projects going on right now. A uh, little, you know, Premieres on uh, Creed One. Yeah. Got upcoming movie Glass or yeah. Samuel Jackson, Bruce Willis. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, just look. You got you, you a little. I'm gonna see you in that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. If they don't cut me. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't cut me. Okay. But yeah, I'm in that. Also, uh, we have a web series out, a nominated award, a nominated web series. Okay. The, the breakup. Make sure y'all check that out. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's so, but hold on. What's the breakup? I guess it's about a breakup. Yeah, basically it's about an uh, up-and-coming actor who basically lives with his girl. He's not working because he's up-and-coming. So she's basically, basically taking care of everything, and she gets to a point where she's done, but he doesn't know it yet, and he has his right-hand man that's like, look, you about to blow up. We're about to go to L.A. real quick. And he convinces him to try to break it off with her. You see what I'm saying? So when he go to go flip the script, she hits him with, nah, I'm done. <laughs> so is this like a comedy? It's a dramedy, yeah. A dramedy? Yeah. And is this your life story? <laughs> no, it's not my life story. Uh, That's uh, why I, when I got cast, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I'll knock this out. I don't know how I would feel about that, man. I would <laughs> I would test my human throwing skills. <laughs> yeah. Human throwing skills? Yeah. Oh, man. It's an acquired skill. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, ever, see, ever since you've seen Killmonger throw uh, the ball right. over, right. over the cliff, that's all he wants to do. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's an adrenaline rush. To throw somebody over a cliff? Yeah, like you ever, well, <laughs> I can't talk about those things. <laughs> so anyway, Mr. Harris, like, talk to us, man. What what inspired you to start acting, man? Well, actually, I 
it's funny because I never, you know, seen myself as being no actor. I've always been a funny, silly dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So real social, I like the attention. But never did I think I was like, I'm gonna do movies. Mm -hmm. So uh, I actually did a favor for one of my homies who's an up and coming director. And, you know, I went on there as an extra just to help him out. Like, all right, I'll do it. And the lead character never showed up. So he was like, look, bro, we gotta film this. Look, he's done. I'm not about to start this casting process over. Read these lines. Did it, and I killed it. I was nice. better than what I thought, you know what I'm saying? And I just started getting noticed from other directors, other, you know, writers and everything like that. They would hit me up, look, I think I got a rule for you. Can you do this? And, you know, I just started doing little mini projects, little web series, everything like that. Then I started getting serious where I started auditioning for bigger things and was actually getting the roles. I'm like, oh, this is it. Yeah. So once I really first got on that, that big set, I'm like, yo, I'm sitting right next to such and such, such yeah. and such. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And they talking like we homies for years. So I'm like, oh, this is love. Yeah. Then when I seen that check, I'm like, oh, oh this, this is, is even really more love. love. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, nah, this is what I need to do. Yeah. I'm having fun, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm making bread. So <clears throat> how far do you plan to go like out of your own element? Like, you know, it's some actors that just be like, yo, I'm not doing this because I'm really a nigga from the streets. You know what I mean? But like, just for you, how far are you willing to go outside of your own person? Well, I've been pretty far, but I'm I, I'm gonna say this: I'm not going as far as to the extent where like Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger. <laughs> no, I'm not going that far. Right, so yeah, that that's that's where that 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 boot stops. Even though there's nothing wrong with what they did. Oh, nothing at all. I mean, shout out to it. That's just not for me. Who? What? Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying that some, some up, people just up, never just came back. Shut up, You said it. <laughs> some people never came back. Like, right. Like, so I'm not even gonna go. Did that movie? It took him a minute. To be back to life. Right, right. You know what right. I mean? Jake Gyllenhaal, where you been at? Exactly. They've been on the mountain. <laughs> back the mountain. Man. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I'm going to get to the point where, you know, I throw on a dress or, or play a homosexual role. And nothing against that, but that's not me, and I don't want to portray that. I'm going to say, hold up. Um, there's, there's a lot of famous people with a lot of money that put on the dress, like and, Kevin Hart. And, and, and kudos to them. Yeah. That's not me. You feel you me? You could have put on I, a dress for a hundred million? No, I wouldn't. Uh, you gotta stick to your guns. Yo, they be, they be like, yo, Gus got that dress on. I'll be like, yo, this dress is nice as hell. Like <laughs> it's nothing like the ridicule. They got flowers and everything on it. <laughs> you, go, you go on TV and start kissing niggas. That's Gall and gallivant and right. camera sauce and shit. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing like you can't come back the from that. roasting session <laughs> right, that you about I to get. I spearhead <laughs> when you return to campus that homecoming. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on red. I'm gonna right. Wait for you. No, but that's on a fact. Your plot. That's a fact. Parkstead, Parkstead, can you do me a favor? On your plot. Parkstead, I'm be sitting. I'm be sitting on your plot. Like, bring that ass here, little boy. <laughs> And I'm gonna give you the beats. Oh man, see, yeah, you I can't, can't have that. Can't have that. Can't have that. Yeah. Just make sure we don't have to edit this segment, please. Well, I just don't want me to say that about it. You mad? Nah, I ain't gonna say <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But, um, so, like, what's the end game, man? You know what I mean? When it's all said and done and the smoke clear. Where's yeah, Charles Harris trying to see us? Hopefully, I just you know I just want to be successful. I just want to have that bank in my account and yeah. be able to do what I want to do. Well, you know, I want to teach some of the up and coming artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And try to show them the ropes that I wasn't taught. You know okay. what I'm saying? I had to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. You're yeah. gonna always be learning. You know what I'm saying? But so let me ask you another question. How you feel about like uh, you know like sometimes they just be grabbing like. A no, now I won't say a no name, <coughs> but like a person that don't really act like this not their craft, and this is something that you really do, and have them going into the big roles because of their fame. But it'd be like shitty acting, and you know you could have did a better job. Like it's it's kind of it's kind of a slap in the face. We we do get mad, but at the same time you gotta think on the other aspect. Everything ain't for you. you know yeah. what I'm saying they might see something that you don't see. You know what I'm saying for that individual, mm -hmm. but I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do praise the directors that do give the underdogs a chance. Because mm -hmm. there's not a lot of people giving the underdogs a chance. Everything is all about a name. Oh, yeah. if I get him, we go, our view's going to get crazy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's, that's a lot with, like, some of the Philly movies that come out. There's a million of us here in the city. It's so crazy. We all know each other because it's so tight. And, like, we all dope. But 
those big movies come in town, we only offer extra roles or supporting mm -hmm. roles. Like, bro, the lead character is supposed to be from the heart of North Philly, mm -hmm. but he's from L.A. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we got that. <laughs> my fuckers don't even got the slant. They ain't got right? the slant. And for instance, and not, like I said, not even talking bad, I'm, I don't even know, I'm not even going to say the name of the movie. Yeah. It's a real popular boxing movie. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Uh, his girlfriend, she overused John. You, no, I'm going to say it because I'm not politically bound by none of this bullshit. First of all, this bitch was bullshit. And she had like the, first, like, the I'm young not, lady was bullshit. I'm not even like a Philly native. I live in Philly. I'm not a Philly native. Right. But I'm from the I'm from the East Coast. I'm from the Tri-State. And right. the one thing that we all respect about where we from is our dialect right. our, and our, our slang and our accents. Right. She didn't have the dialect, the slang, or the accent. She was like a British bitch in Philly. Talking about, oh, the jar. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is a yeah. jar? See, so, so stuff like that is what bothers us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I it found was, it quite comical, though. It was. It was like, funny. Like, they was at Max's. Right. It was like, oh, I want to go get a, a cheesesteak. <laughs> a cheesesteak jar. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I look not to go on another thing. <laughs> but I seen Creed, right? And the first thing I thought about was my lady. Right? My mm -hmm. lady. And so if we're sitting anywhere eating the cheesesteak jar, <laughs> drinking <laughs> drinks, and a motherfucker come on TV like, fuck that nigga ish. I'll fuck him up. He don't want this smoke. My lady ain't looking at me like, oh, forget about it. Dude. Right, right. My lady gonna be like, who the fuck is ball? You better exactly. tune him and, and the fuck up. That's that's what the, that's what. And some so of the problem I was, was thrown for a loop when she said, oh, don't worry about it. Dude. Right. He's just a hater. That's not Philly talk. That's, no, not, that's, that's not even Philly action. Yeah, this is no. Not that's Creed. actually Creed one. That was the first. Yeah, you just gonna make a rat on the movie. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm talking about the part you're talking about. <laughs> You already said what it was. No. You did say it. No. You did. You did. did. You did. You did. <laughs> you did say it. So you the snitch. Rat. Snitch bitch. Snitch <laughs> did he say it earlier? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't fuck with things that with the direction. Oh. Fucking rat shit. There you go. <laughs> Explains it all. Yeah. The dragon. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> we were just talking about that dumbass dragon. That's the devil saying that dumbass dragon tattoo. Was, <laughs> oh my god, man. Look, look, I, I don't have to debate with niggas that went, went to Cheney. I just don't. Because you can't. You just read it. <laughs> On TV. That's cool, Gus. We're going to edit it's that. It's a fact. You got to edit that out like the <laughs> And you making him do more work. I'm sorry. You, you just fucking... Fuck my man whole career up. Oh, you guys oh, are man. talking about Creed. <laughs> I was just trying to find out if they came out with a clear version on the fire stick or not. Oh my god. You doing more <laughs> rap? Yo! I quit. I'm fucking quit. <laughs> you fucking Republicans, man. You give a fucking yeah. tingling. They start telling all the secrets. That's what got Trump jammed up. <laughs> you know, if, yo, my 70 year old uncle came to me talking about. Yo, you know anything about them fire sticks? Everybody know about the fire stick. He just thought you was the plug. Mm -hmm. That's how I got you over. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna turn you in. <laughs> yeah, man. But nah, so um, now that T got to edit out the last four minutes. Yeah, cause your ass started red. We don't condone <laughs> that, man. So, um, you know, talk to us about the uh, how the process has been for you, though. Just like you know. Uh, roles that you thought you might have had in the bag that you might you felt like you might have got turned down for whatever reason. Like, how's that been? Like, what did it look like when you go in the room, like the casting call? I mean, I got pretty good, you know, story. I don't have a real bad story yet. Like I said, I'm still on the rise, so it's like it can be coming. You know what I mean? But uh, pretty much most of my auditions been good. You know what I'm saying? Whether I got the role or not, I still. I knocked them out. Like yeah. I, I, never, I didn't have any crazy mess ups or anything like, okay, sir, just go. None of those, but you know what I mean? But yeah, I did have a big audition where I felt I killed it. Mm -hmm. They said I killed it, but sometimes you can't go off of what they say, but when you know you killed it, mm -hmm. killed it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and most of the time, you would know that when they keep questioning you. Yeah. And like I said, the, that audition process, it was like, okay, we bring 10 people in. 
So you got the nine people standing against the wall where they able to see you audition. Mm -hmm. And the ones before you said, okay, all right, we'll, we'll be in touch. But then when they get to you, there's all these questions. Oh, so where are you from? Oh, yeah. uh, where you get that monologue from? That, that, was, that was nice. Oh, so you traveled all the way from Philly to Boston just to come here? Yeah, yeah so when they start engaging and Long everything, Philly. You, like, you, you like, yeah, I did something right. So I thought I had that role in the bag. Like, You're like, I killed it. I'm like, okay. Got a call back, like, oh, this is it. <laughs> I ain't hear nothing else after that. Bastards. Right, and I seen that they had recast it. And, you know, throughout that whole process, I made different little connects mm -hmm. within that particular network. Mm -hmm. And I was told, like, they felt this person was going to bring more, you know, attention to the film because they already had somewhat of a name. I got like 4,000 on Instagram. He had 260K. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? But as an actor, it's still like a slap in the face because he's a singer. Okay? That's all he does. He's, he's probably acting the whole time. Huh? Like Jacquees. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, so he, he's a singer. So, looking at it like, damn, you cast Bull, y'all going to have to coach him how to you know act yeah. he, all he does is sing where you got an actor but they I can coach how to sing I can act like I can sing I can act, no I can <laughs> act like I can sing <laughs> but the thing is what I heard after the, they didn't want any voiceovers or any uh, lip singing so actually that movie and I'm gonna say the movie it's uh, the new edition movie I was supposed to play Johnny Gill I'll be honest none of them motherfuckers can sing yeah three out of two I mean yeah just three you out stay of the five. politically correct my brother <laughs> don't let my opinions I just, like said, I just said a number. Then I said you be out here like Kevin Hart backtracking. Oh, no, I, I ain't backtracking. You could hit the ma, 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 ma. <laughs> you did it. No, be honest. Did you do it in the mirror? A couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, a couple times. A couple just, times. Just, I told him dance moves up, though. <laughs> did, did you purchase that yellow and black new edition the shoe? jumpsuit? The, ju the whole jumpsuit? No, no. I, any heartbreak? That's what I'm talking about. No. The Mitch Match sneaks? What's next? What's next for, for Mr. Harris, man? Well, I'm, I'm writing now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, at, one, at a point in time, you get tired of the news. So yeah. it's like, you know what? Like I said, that was my wake-up call, and that made me like, you know what? I'm going to write my own. I'm going to create my own. I'm going to get myself popping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm creative as hell, so yeah. my stories are dope. So like I said, my next project right now that I fully wrote is about my dad. Mm -hmm. you know, he was a Vietnam vet. They got sprayed with Agent Orange back then. Mm -hmm. So. That's where he got the uh, Parkinson's disease. Mm. And a month before he passed, he got dementia mixed on. So, mm -hmm. you know, the, the two mix is what took him out of here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just go in, do like, I got a short film. It's basically gonna be from the beginning to the end mm -hmm. in a quick little summary in hopes to get picked up or get some, mm -hmm. you know, some donations where I can turn into a feature film. Yeah. So that's, that's the move right now. Can I be cast as an extra? I got you. I got, I got you for my frat movie. Can, can, no, go. I want to be in the, in the Vietnam movie about yeah. that. I want to shoot. That's, that's, that's the feature. If, it's a, if, it, if it comes into the feet. I can't say <laughs> <laughs> that's, a pair, that's a pair of jeans. I think, I think that's racist. It's oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> what do you say then? I want to shoot screen. Japanese. <laughs> you, have, you have to say ja the Japanese soldier. Can I say I want to shoot screaming? Oh, <laughs> you said it twice. You knew it was wrong. You just wanted to make yourself laugh. Yeah. Yo. But nah, that's that. That's only gonna be shown if I get it to a feature film. That's not in the short. The uh, short is real, like sharp tight to so the point. So not one. <laughs> no, not, not not in the short film. <laughs> not in the short. Film. <laughs> not in the short. I just want to get invited to the premieres. Oh no doubt, y'all there. Y'all there. So I can I can treat my lady and be like <laughs> You go treat her. Like, I know people. <laughs> okay. She don't know that. Oh, I'm right. just saying I got right. a lot. I, I, I might snitch like, like, I I might snitch like you did. So I, <laughs> I'm saying I got a lot of homies. But you talk about old stuff. I, did, <laughs> I like, got a lot of homies that need all the groupies you can't handle. Gotcha. Saladin. <laughs> got you. Got you. No doubt. It's gonna be a line. Whole line. Listen. Here you go. Need them. Get not me. No, but not my you. Friends. Not you. Is that? The lights are on and the keys still in the ignition, but the driver may be long gone. I just what? bought the car. I don't have insurance yet. I haven't <laughs> even got it fully registered yet. Navars Campbell admits this is his Chevy Impala, but he says he wasn't behind the wheel when it jumped the curb near 69th and Silver Spring 
and barreled through the wall of this Milwaukee home. Somebody stole my car. The 17-year-old says yeah. someone swiped his car while he was sleeping. Here I come walking down the street and I actually see my car. <laughs> the homeowner's daughter didn't want to go on camera, but shared with us this picture taken inside yeah, the home. Really nice. She, she the says her 90-year-old mother, who lives here alone, was scared, but thankfully not injured. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I would have been dead. Someone could have been sitting right there. Could have been <laughs> dead at home. Campbell doesn't know how the thief snatched his car ended up in the home. That's something Milwaukee police would like to know too. Me too. In Milwaukee, Amy Dupont, Fox Six News. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, at least he kept he kept his face straight. Yo. No, he is all in his eyes. Nah, that's all. <laughs> like, I was just I was just walking down the street. I was like, damn, my car, my car, somebody. He said I just got it. I didn't even have any insurance. I didn't even get it registered yet. And I had all that to go on camera. And you know you're wrong. You know you're right. And this is shit. If the camera person would have did any funny movie, he'd have bust out laughing. <laughs> like no, he, he, no, he was too scared. He was too scared. Nah, he, yo, that, he thought that shit was funny. He probably was hot. He, he be out. He's 17. He ain't killing nobody. Yeah, he come home in a couple years. <laughs> nah, he ain't going to jail. He ain't going to jail. He's just going to have to. His this parents is going to owe a lot of bread. Bro, what the fuck happened that the car he gonna be into the house? I, I think he tried to say that he doesn't know who he don't know. in his house he stole his keys. And stole his keys <laughs> and then took his car and drove it into, and drove into the house. And the bad part, he didn't even say, like, I came outside, I noticed my car was going. He was like, I was just taking it. I was walk walking down, down the street. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, came oh, outside, you ain't my car. car. Yo, he's a liar. <laughs> but I was waiting to hear the person on the news be like, and. So you have no said, idea who stole your vehicle. <laughs> None whatsoever. It was my cousin. <laughs> you, know, you know the bad part about it? Was that if he wasn't black, he could probably get away with it. He probably like, no, it'd be, yo, it'd be, it was a black guy it'd, who it'd stole be my car. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be real. I was just waiting to hear that the 99-year-old woman got hit. By the car. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 You can't let that go. Why can't you? <laughs> Why can't you? <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is funny. She safe? Man. All right, but this shit is hella funny. Live. Cool. Yeah. Show me the pictures. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sorry. But he's a lying little guy. He's a lying little nigga. That motherfucker got that car. Smoking some K2. There you Lost go. Lost control of the wheel. Hit the crib. <clears throat> saw that granny was laying Got out. Got Ran. Out. Oh, shit. Ran home. Home. Yep. And then... The next Came day, out. <laughs> saw the news cameras over and was like, oh, I was just taking the walk. And somebody <laughs> that stole my goddamn car and ran it into these nice people and I had the nerve to leave my keys in the car. And I forgot to get my bag last night. Yo. Yeah. 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 Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um. Oh, you know, looking at all your, your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. Um, but, you know, we take sexual assault here serious. And we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because, you know, this is a serious topic. And we're hearing these stories a lot. <laughs> You seem upset that I brought it up. Is he about to get up and walk away? I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like be going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So like change the subject. I'm finna walk out. I think we don't I th have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right. Bring up a rape case or somebody be like, hey, I would like to ask you questions about you raping people. Next time you come. <laughs> next time you come on the show. Kodak Black is the funniest nigga in the fucking world. He life. is. He was like, yeah, nah. It's like the mouth out of people. Y'all be entertained by bullshit. Tell me something, I'm walking out. Motherfucker, you dick! <laughs> Listen, yeah, man, ain't, ain't nothing to say on yeah, that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel no uh, condolences yeah. and no sorrow for a bitch-ass nigga that's fucking raping. 
and beating up women. Because everybody's saying that the uh, Ebro was wrong for doing that. I don't think Ebro was wrong. No, it's... but but I think Ebro should have made his stance clear. Like I'm, we don't co-sign motherfucking rappers or men caught up in sexual assault and raping women. And for real, for real, you should have never invited them on the show. Yeah, I guess that, that was my case. thing. Is like, why well, bring them up there? Yeah, but but that's that same bullshit that we talked about before with the Vic Mensa shit and Joe Buttons and, and Academic. Like, Vic Mensa knew he had an issue with Academic and waited till the camera cut on to express his issue. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Ebro had an issue with what the fuck Kodak Black had been accused of. And instead of coming at that man without the cameras on, yo, I'm gonna keep all the way real. I, 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 we I going in. Music, but I, what you accused <clears throat> for, I don't really rock with. And I really do have some questions about that shit when we go on the air. And let Kodak Black just have the fucking opportunity to be like, well, then I ain't doing the show and roll out. And That's, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you could go on the camera and just be like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I feel this and this about this. I went and tried to check Kodak Black about it offline. He refused to come on to the show. But, it, but now as, a, as, a, as an entertainer, you, I mean, like not to, not yeah. backing them up, but you got to understand, you're saying some of these cases be, it be bullshit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you in the limelight or you popping, you got these chicks that's throwing themselves at you mm -hmm. on some, you know what I'm saying, on a, on a regular. Mm -hmm. So if we go and do it and do what we do, but you expecting some bread after the end, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when nothing was solidified, oh, now he raped me. Well, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I don't, I don't really feed into too much without knowing the full story. This, I need footage mm -hmm. or like fat, actual fat. This is my thing with Kodak Black though. Kodak Black is the same nigga who came home from some sort of uh, physical assault case with a female and then had an IG live post to him and his homies running a train on a groupie. Oh, I didn't know about that. You understand what okay. I'm saying? Okay. He's the same dude who's been who's had IG live posts of him getting sucked off. And so <clears throat> you for me, all that to me, all that shit is like pussy shit and bullshit, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Like just keeping this shit a bean like all right, you a rap star. We know groupies gonna be sucking your dick, and you are gonna be getting you ain't show the it. upper echelon ass than what we getting out here in the streets. We know you and your entourage is running through bitches. It's expected. Y'all motherfuckers is six figure dudes. Mm -hmm. when, why you wanna expose yourself and put that shit on camera like that? You know what I'm saying? And so for him, and you know what I'm saying, uh, much respect to the deceased, even with the XXX dude. You know, he came out from the rip. He was in the middle of some legal shit for beating the shit out of some white chick that was supposedly his baby mom or some <coughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For me, I don't co-sign none of that shit. I, like, I watched my mother get beat when I was a young dude and, and, and in, a, in a position to feel powerless about it. Like, I, I'm not powerless about it right now. I let my voice and my hands speak for me because I'm comfortable. Fuck him. You out here doing wild shit to chicks, bro. You get what come back to you. Fuck that nigga, y'all. That's all that needs to be said. Right. Everything too is ass. First of all, <laughs> everything too is ass. These motherfuckers was doing ninja moves at a step show. <laughs> <laughs> and so for me, that's where I was disconnected. Nigga, I was disconnected on Stomp the Yard 1. I was cool with Stomp the Yard 1. No. Until niggas had, like, we didn't do that. battles yeah. on those yard. Right, you don't like, do I've, that. I've never seen that in college history. Me, me either. Motherfuckers <laughs> just on the plots, and then motherfuckers is like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who's that creeping through your window? <laughs> I thought he wanted to fire there for a second. What's this guy doing, man? Thank you. Stop talking. Get you off the road. Watch your fucking Watch your fucking soul, pussy. Why are you coming to pussy? What? Oh! Oh, man, asshole. Yo, my question is, why the cop call you? Why the cop say watch yourself, pussy? Mmm. And did you see in the video? Before he cracks him, he grabs him mm -hmm. so he can get a, a nicer hit on him so he can't roll with the punch. That looks like a security guard. I don't think it'll be. Uh, that says it was a cop. Mm. <clears throat>
but he's going down. I'm not vibing too much. He might yeah, it's not funny. But I would rather sort of man. I'm not vibing too much man. You're not even going to talk about. He should have blocked. What he, 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 didn't, he, didn't, he didn't know. <laughs> but he, how, how do you know? It's, how you know it's coming? Because you got grabbed by the back of your neck first. You still won't know it's coming. Block. <laughs> you can't be on YouTube getting knocked the fuck out at all. Blocked. So I mean, you have to feel something coming when someone says. Why first of all, I'm not going. I'm not going. We're not going to be that close. Yeah. Not, I'm not letting you get that close. Yeah. And, and he did yell in the comments. And you like, what? But you gotta understand. <laughs> he, he might. He might not have been expecting that. It's a cop. And I didn't touch him first, so who would have thought that cop was going to hit first? Listen, man, Biggie told you niggas 20 years ago that you're not getting bags to the <laughs> Which means, I don't give a fuck if I'm at McDonald's, McDowell's, wherever the fuck. <laughs> wherever the fuck. If a police motherfucker walk up behind me, I'm walking out the fucking excuse way. Me, right. Right. Excuse me, officer. Right, <laughs> right. I, 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 I got to fuck, Keep it moving. Yep, there you, you know go. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck if I am, I don't care where I'm at. You can go in front of me. Just get the fuck away from me. Like, that's how you avoid shit like that. I and mean, then next of all, I'm not looking at no cop and yelling in his face. Right, what? right, <laughs> right, right. That's all I almost like verbal assault. And then get knocked out. And then get knocked out. That's <laughs> like what. sleep. That's what. Now your mom got to explain her first. Yo, poor baby. Is he all he right? Knock the fuck out on TV. <laughs> Kids don't respect you. <laughs> Dad, you ain't say that to the officer that <laughs> You know what I mean? The hate you give. Yeah. Then the infants fuck everything up. Whatever they said that shit stand for. <laughs> now the infants want to fuck people up. The unfit kids because you got knocked the fuck out on TV. Just chill. That's all, man. Just chill for now. Nothing at the Trump organization was ever done unless it was it run through Mr. Trump. Trump. He directed me to make the payments. He directed me to become involved in these matters. You have to remember at what point in time that this matter came about, two weeks or so before the election, post the Billy oh, Bush a couple months ago. comments. So yes, he was very concerned about how this would affect the election. I gave loyalty to someone who truthfully does not deserve loyalty. He was trying to hide what you were doing, correct? Correct. And he knew it was wrong? Of course. He knows the truth. I know the truth. Many people know the truth. I took responsibility for my actions. And instead of him taking responsibility for his actions, what does he do? He attacks my family. <laughs> like, nigga, I got caught. <laughs> you got caught too. We all got caught. Come on yeah. now. <laughs> I don't get into the political. I ain't gonna get into the political. But I don't think it's more about the political, it's more about the fact that he ran. I'm just, a given, though. I'm I mean, just keep this shit all the way G. Like, them motherfuckers don't live by the same code we live by. Like, if I was paying the Russians and you motherfuckers start ratting about me paying the Russians, you gonna sleep with the fishes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That motherfucker's gonna sleep with his family <laughs> comfortably in the nation. <laughs> so. Nah, he got he got sentenced sentenced to three years. Yeah. Now he now he just trying to rat because he want other people to do it that way. Uh huh. Yeah. But he should have told on Trump. He should have told on Trump when it was a happening. long time ago. And yeah. Now he got the biggest dickhead in the world as the president, and you helped that happen. Nah, but you can't you can't tell on him now. You was accepting his payments and doing all the shit for him. I mean, because he don't live by the cold of the streets, he could have told whenever he decided to tell. I just see wish he would have told before the election, so we could have got a better president. Yeah, payments don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Look at Bill Cosby. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Real rap. He been, he been paying her off. Trump the reason that I feel comfortable running around here calling people <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing bitches, grab bitches by a pussy and kissing them in the mouth like a bitch. Trump promoted all that to me. I'm just exercising my right as a There was no reason to bring I'm, that up. I'm <laughs> dead. Yeah, I'm done. It's Trump's fault. It's Trump's fault. It's Trump's fault. What was even a story about Japanese people? What? There's no How did you weave that? <laughs> Much <laughs> <laughs> ah, <get some>. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 
Oh, ain't the one. Did you motherfucker got a sign go back to Africa? <laughs> the video was about. That's her Duncan? Yeah. Yo. That shit was weak, so. You <laughs> 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 wasn't impressed, man. Yo! Girl, what it, it, yeah, it didn't matter because she like a 7 Eleven, so it, 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 it's, she get dumped. She was told everybody. Yeah, she get dumped. Yeah. Well, funny, you only 7'4. <laughs> <laughs> didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Would impress I mean, me be 4'11 and dumped. Would impress me be a midget and dumped. I was like, get some. But then I realized. And then it was a regular dunk. Like it was just a little. It was like preschool. Now I'm like, oh, shit, I could have dumped she what? said, eh, yeah, eh. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why you looking like that? Why <laughs> you <laughs> 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 Fuck it, fucking let's do the outro. <laughs> <laughs> This time, man, we like to thank Mr. Charles Harris for coming out to the uh, being unprofessional with us tonight on the web series, man. You know, what I mean, definitely want to uh, wish you good luck in all your endeavors, good brother. You know Appreciate what I'm that. And we don't want to see the movies, the uh, movies come out. We not, we weren't called to be in on the shit. <laughs> Just <know>. got you. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, man. You, you, we got. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Just remember this. I ain't, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going for no hills, y'all. I got y'all. Go. <laughs> so. At this time, bro, just shout out all your social media handles, how they can find you, how they can support your wave and your movement. Gotcha. Uh, my Instagram is actor underscore Charles Harris. Facebook, Chuck Harris. Twitter is C Harris underscore actor. Wow, that's it. That's it. Well, Appreciate y'all having me, man. You already know, man. Uh, you ain't got to go home, but. You said my uh, trail is around the corner? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. It's so unprofessional. Yeah, thank y'all for coming out. God motherfucking bless. They didn't Good come night. out. They tuned in from their fucking computer. Or their oh, yo, Gus, yo, you just be focused on the wackness, bro. You just be like making up me, shit. Like me, I'm focused on the dopeness. You know what I mean? Like, everything I say is the dopeness. And everything that he says is the wackness. So, like, I just... So, you say more, thanks for coming out, but he, they didn't even come out. Whenever he talks, just put, like, hashtag the wackness under this nigga. And then when I talk, put hashtag the dopeness. You know what I mean? Like, that should just be a stupid shit. Don't kill my vibe, bro. Don't kill my weight, man. You gonna fuck around and drop ground shot around this weight, man. You know what I mean? You look too hard. Don't stand too close. If you look too hard, you might wanna go see a doctor, man. See? The wackness. He's still Just saying, if you dripping. He's still stuck in 90 fucking four. I'm just saying, they got, they got shots for that. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs> y'all ever seen the movie Gran Torino? Mm hmm. Yo! Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> he, that's said what he, he said, he said, he said, yeah. He said, get off my porch, you goddamn goop. <laughs> that's what the fuck I said. Fucking Clint Eastwood spent two hours <laughs> calling this motherfucking a slope. You <laughs> fucking. Yeah! yeah. Oh, the motherfucker. The motherfucker went in the barber shop. Nah, he said, water. can I get a haircut? You a giant prick barber. <laughs> the motherfucker pulled out the shotgun. He said, get your ass out of my barber shop, you goddamn cock smoking goof. First one is like, he's like, oh, I can't see Japs. <laughs> Just say, I can't see Japs. What about killing goops then? <laughs> can I say goops, nigga? <laughs>